Y'all got to, um, the next time I do it out because I get very emotional and um, I'm trying to hold it together. But I like what you think. Thank you. Love is what love does. Yes. Love is demonstration. Amen. You can often tell a person that I love you, but if you ever demonstrate that, if you never do anything, amen, then how much do you really love me? Right. Amen. Praise God. And Jesus, he showed that. Yes. He loved us. Amen. Praise God. The house has already been addressed, but right. I salute the man of God. Amen. Praise God. I'm not saluting the man. Amen. But I'm the God. Amen. Amen. That's in the man and the woman of God. Right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God thought it not robbery. Amen. To do this. And as we said before, we have plans. And God has other plans. I had already told them that I came to <laughs> hear. I came to receive and need to be blessed. But did not know that I would be in this position. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But and I thank God for my one of my sons. And when God called him to the ministry, I told him, you always got to have something in your back pocket. Right. Amen. So when they told me, he says, you told me to have something in my back pocket. <laughs> so he gave me my words back. God is just so good and so kind. Uh, we're going to use a thought like this. Thank you for the, the Sunday school. We're going to uh, use a thought like this. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? When you want something bad enough, then you do whatever it takes to get it. Yes. Because you want it. Right. Amen. If you don't put no effort to it to get what you want, then you're not going to get it. Amen. All right. Let me give you a scripture so you say I ain't it. Amen. Amen. But I can go right from there. Amen. Uh, St. Mark. Amen. St. Mark, the fifth chapter. And we're just going to use that one verse, 25. Mm -hmm. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Mm -hmm. A certain woman. Yes. How bad do you want it? Now her was bleed. Yours could be something else. But how bad do you want God to change it? How bad do you want God to come into the situation? How bad do you want God to move you into another place? How bad do you want it? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Yes. I thought of another illustration that he gave us. Amen. A man at the pool. Yeah. And he was there for uh, 28 years. 38 years. 30, 38 years. Yes. And his excuse was, I have no one to put me in the pool. Yes. But when you want something bad enough, you don't wait for nobody else to do it for you. Right. Oh, God, I bless you. Help yourself. Bless your name. Yes. You'll step out and do it yourself. Amen. By any means necessary. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, every time I got ready to step in the pool, yeah. then someone else came before me, Amen. and they stepped in. But sometimes, maybe if, if, if you want something bad enough, you got to move. Well, maybe you can't step a wrong in. Yeah, no, that's right. Do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to get there. Mm -hmm. Get it all up for God to move in your behalf. 
Amen. Praise God. Then we have another situation there. Yes. Amen. The man that was born blind. Oh, Amen. Praise God. The first thing they said, who sinned? Every time something happened in your life, don't mean that you sinned. Right. Amen. It don't mean that you didn't do the right thing. Right. But you can cross every tear and die every eye. Lord Jesus. And things still will happen. That's life. That's life. Amen. But how bad do you want? You got to know that God is able to take me through. He's able to keep me from falling yes. and present me hopeless yes. before the Father. How bad, how bad do you want it? Amen. Excuses is over. Yes. Look at this. Jesus could have said, well, they, uh, they talked about me. They scandalized my name. Amen. They persecuted me. They whipped me. So I'm not going to go any further. I told my disciples to stay here and pray. But they still praying. They went to sleep. So I'm not going to go any further. But he came for a purpose. Yes. There's a purpose in your life. Yes. There's a reason why you're here. Yes. No man is alive. Mm-hmm. No man stands alone. Mm-hmm. Everybody needs somebody. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I need you. Mm-hmm. And you need me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I can't do this by myself. Right. I need your help. And when Scripture tells us, come, let us reason together. It says, yeah. if something's going on that then we can't come, let us reason. Let us get it together. Yes. Yes. Let's talk about it. Let us get it straight. And we can go on with the Lord. Yes. How bad? Do you want it? How bad do you want peace in the midst of a storm? How bad? How bad? Amen. Praise God. So we get on with the lady with the issue of blood. She could use an excuse. Amen. Well, there's too many people here, and I can't get to Jesus. They're walking, and I can't get to them. There's a crowd, and I can't get to them. There's a silence around him, and I can't get to it. But you got to make up in your mind that any means necessary, I'm going to get to Jesus. By any means necessary, I'm going to pull on him. Yes. Yes. Until I get what I need. Oh, yes. Because I need something from him. Yes, yes. So I'm going to pull on him. Until I get it. Praise God. I'm not going to be satisfied. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be satisfied. Yeah. But I'm going to get what, I, what he has for me. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get it. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Maybe they're up, up the, in my way. That's life. Yes. Maybe there's uh, 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 storms in my way. That's life. But I want to get to Jesus. I want him to, to hear me. I want him to heal me. I want him to deliver me. I want him to set me free. What do you need from him? Thank you, Lord. I want it. Yes. Amen. I won't be satisfied. That's right. Till I get it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Sometimes we get satisfied. I won't be satisfied till I get it. Praise God. I do whatever I have to do to get it. Yes. Praise God. I wanted an outfit. Praise God. And I didn't have the money for it. So what I did, I waited. Till that bad boy went on sale. That's right. <laughs> and I walked in there. Thinking I'm going to pay one price. And when I got to the cash register, it was another price. How bad did Mary want it? I wanted it real bad. <laughs> so I waited till it went on sale. And I went like that. Amen. Amen. How bad do you want it? Amen. Amen. We have a song. He walks with me and he talks with me. And he tells me that I'm his own. Amen. Amen. Praise God. There's some things that we're going to have to go through in this life. Amen. And we're talking about the pardon today. 
Amen. Praise God. God is making things out of us. Mm -hmm. you, you, you may have a, a, a flower, but guess what? It's not a flower. It's a seed. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a seed. Mm -hmm. And before you can have that uh, that seed in your hand and don't do nothing with the seed, it's still a seed. Yeah. Uh -huh. You may want a flower, but if you don't do nothing with the seed, it's going to maintain a seed. God bless you. Yeah. You got to get up and plant it. Put it in the ground. Yes. You got to sift it in the ground. Yes. You got to turn over. The... God, you go ahead with your bad self. You got to turn over the ground. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes God has to turn us over. Upside down. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, you. Because you want to make something out of it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. How <laughs> bad? Do you want you got to put it in the ground? Then you got to water it. My God. Put it in the ground and don't water it. It's no good. You got to get it away when you go ahead with your bad self. You got to go ahead and get it what you need in order for it to grow. Thank you, God. And then another thing. You don't go there every day looking for it. No. But you do what it takes. And after you don't get your part, then after a while you come and see a little Something coming up. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You wanted it bad. Mm. You wanted it bad. Praise God. And after a while, you see things moving in your life. Yes. After a while, you see it. You can take a little bit more. My you know when you first started out, you couldn't take nothing. That's right. Y'all was quick with my mouth. Oh yeah. Tell you about yourself. I wasn't always this sweet little person, you see. No, but it was Jesus. Yes. Yes. It was Jesus. Yes. It's not about me, but it's Jesus. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Because I want to be like him. Yes. I want to walk like him, talk like him. I'm the Lord. I want to be like him. Yes. Preach it. So I had to let him captivate me. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And then every time things, I can't go flipping off at the lips. Amen. Flipping off at the lips means you can't talk when you want to talk. Amen. In New York, we say flipping off at the lips. Yes. Amen. Praise God. But you got to let God do it. I remember when I first started out, because I always gave my opinion, Mother Tompkin, uh, uh, read. Mother Rain, Rain, she used to tell to Mary, if you can't stand chastisement, you're a bastard. But if you can stand chastisement, you're a son. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah. But I said, God, I don't want to be a bastard. Right. I want to be a son. Right. So I prayed. I said, God, help me to be a son. Yeah, yeah. God did that. Yes, did. That's why folks love me, because I'm his son. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't love Mary. No good thing lies in the flesh. Right. So I can't get hung up on my set. Because no good thing hard lies in the flesh. But it's Jesus that yes. moves. Thank you, Lord. Live a fire to dwell yes. in me. Yes. That makes a difference in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm getting back to the woman. You're doing all right. <laughs> you thought I forgot where I was? No, I didn't. Amen. Right. She said, if I can just touch. The hymn of the scum. I know there's situations in my way. I know there's options in my way. There, there are problems in my way. And there's handles in my way. But if I can just touch, just touch. the hymn. So that means she had to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She had to do Sometimes we want something from God, but we ain't doing nothing. Oh. You got to do something. Nothing but nothing leave nothing. Nothing. You got to do something. You got to spend some time with God. Yes. You got to have a relationship with God. You got to have a fellowship with God. Yes. Yes. If the uh, old boy, you say sweet communion with God. Yes. Amen. Right. Hey, praise God. You got to do that. Spend some time by yourself talking to Him. 
Go into your secret closet. Pray. Praise God. Then when you come out, people don't know that you've been with the Lord. Yeah. You have to come and say, oh, I've been with the Lord. Look at this, what's happening here. Because I know people, people see that you're being with it. Right. People know that you're being with it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. you have to put a sign on your back that you have. Hey Amen. How bad do you want it? Yes. When I look at this, she wanted to be healed very bad. Very bad. Twelve years. Mm -hmm. It's a long time to be bleeding. Amen. And she had bled, and she had bled. She had went to all the doctors that she knew to go to. The Bible says she had spent all her money. Praise God. But if she knew, she could have went to the one doctor, physician of Jesus, and she'd been able to keep her money, and yet been healed. Amen. Praise God. So she said, "If I could just touch, just touch. the hem of His garment, look at this." She said, "I know." She know. She didn't say they know or he don't know that I touched him, but she did. But she said, "If I, I know, if I." Touch him. You got to know that I got to touch him. Yes. I got to make some effort to get to him. Yeah. And then, look at this. It took faith. Yes. That she would get the evidence on his body. All right. Hallelujah. If she didn't have the faith, she could have touched him. Because don't forget now, there were many people that were touching him. But see, but they wouldn't look for anything. Uh huh. But see, she touched him and she looked for something. Yes. She expect something. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. So when you get to Jesus, expect something. Expect something to happen. Yes. Expect a change. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So when she got to him and she touched him, yes, she did. Immediately, the situation was done with me. The word of God said immediately the blood stopped. Mm -hmm. If you reach out and touch him, yes. immediately, immediately your situation yes. will change. Mm -hmm. yes. Immediately things will happen in your life. But you got to touch him. Mm -hmm. How, bad How bad do you How want bad it? You How bad do you want it? Amen. If you don't, if you don't do it the first time, don't stop. Do it again. Right. There was a situation in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Well, he touched this man that was blind. Right. Another one. And he said to him, How do you see me? He said, I see them as trees. Mm -hmm. right. Now, trees not supposed to walk. Hello? You're right. A tree is not supposed to walk. But here this man see me as a tree. Mm -hmm. So what did Jesus do? Jesus had to do what? Touch him again. Yes. It's all right if you don't get what you want or what you need. It's all right to touch him again. Amen. It's all right to call him again. Yes. It's all right to ask him again. Yes. How bad? Do you want it? Oh, Lord, I want it real bad. Real bad. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And then he said, Who touched me? Mm -hmm. Now the disciple says to him, Jesus, all these people around you. Right. Evidently, somebody touched you. Somebody touched you. Because it's a lot of people. So look what Jesus said. I felt the virtue. Yes. I felt the healing power. Yes. I felt the anointing. Yes. I felt the evidence. Right. Come out of me. Yes. Uh, that sometimes when we're in the presence of God, most of the time, when we're in the presence of God, I, we, 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 we see when the, when the service gets on another gear. You know the cars? Mm -hmm. You know the, 
That's the word. You know the cause that you, you put it in one gear and you got to put it in another gear and you got to put it in the truck. When you were in the service, you feel the shift. Yeah. It was a good service. Mm -hmm. But you feel the shift when the Holy Ghost came in mm -hmm. and stopped there. He didn't just sweep by. That's right. But stop there. In other words, I'm going to stay here for a while. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. They're calling on me. They're praying to me. Yes. So I'm going to sit here for a while. I'm going to stay here for a while. Yes. I'm going to dwell here for a while. Yes. Because they keep calling me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. So, how bad? Do you want it? She felt, he felt the virtue 